Hello everyone, in this series of videos I'll show you how the basics of texturing works in Blender. Uh, many people use different software for texturing their 3D models, like uh, they use for example Substance Painter. However, you can achieve almost the same results right inside of Blender, uh, using Blender's texture painting and baking tools. We will be looking at these things in four videos. In this first video I will quickly show you how to unwrap, UV unwrap your models and prepare for texturing. And in the second video we will paint the color and mask textures. In the third video we will show you how to detect some features like uh, edges and crevices, cavities. And in the last video I, uh, we will learn how to bake all the information into simple image files and how to save them on your hard drive. In these videos we will learn uh, the basics of these steps, but if you, learn, uh, if you want to learn everything about texturing or uh, modeling, shading, lighting, rendering, animation modifiers or everything else in Blender, you can check out my full 3D content creation course on Udemy where I will uh, show you everything in detail in more than 200 lessons and 36 hours of content. In that course we will also create six amazing projects from scratch, so if you are interested the link uh, to the coupon or referral links will be in the description. And remember, you will also support this channel if you enroll in that course on Udemy. So yeah, let's get started. Before we can unwrap that wooden storage chest or box, uh, I'm going to tell you the, about the basics, the fundamentals of UV unwrapping. Uh, what are UVs? UVs are generally 2D representation of your 3D models. Imagine this is a carton box and you cut it in different edges and open the box. Maybe you want to cover uh, something or you want to put something on the, uh, on the box, right? You have eaten the cake inside the box and now you don't know what to do with the box, right? Maybe you want to paint on the box, so you cut uh, along the edges and you just open. So yeah, this is general, uh, general rules or general information. Now, how do we actually cut? We don't take the knife tool and cut we just uh, define what edges we are going to cut and we uh, tell Blender to unwrap, open those edges, just cut the, these edges and unwrap your model. So, and we don't actually uh, physically or uh, we don't actually cut it like that and put here. No, we don't touch the geometry. Uh, that's just a representation. So let's go. Now uh, let's talk about how to uh, best unwrap this. So we can cut this edge, for example, right? And this edge, and this edge, and this face will uh, be put here. We can cut this edge, and this edge, and this edge, and uh, this face, this face, this is first, this is second, this face uh, will be, uh, will kind of lay here, right? And we will cut the face that is not visible, the edge that's not visible to us. And that face uh, will be there. And these two faces, this one and the, the face that we, are, we can see now, will be there. So overall shape will be something like this. Now let's do exactly that. And now let's uh, select these edges, shift select all of these edges this edge and this edge. Now let's uh, press U for UV mapping menu and mark seam. Seams, as you know, is just seams that like in your clothes, right? Where your clothes are stitched, parts of your clothes stitched together, right? So I define the edge. Now how do I tell Blender to unwrap? Select everything, U again and tell Blender to unwrap this. Nothing happened here because as I said we don't change the geometry. We will see the created UV map here in UV editing. Select everything to make it visible. So now this is how the UV looks. This uh, might not be the best uh, layout. Uh, maybe you want it to be like this. But here it's taking uh, as much space as possible uh, on the texture. Remember your textures must be square for best performance. Let's bring in any texture. So I brought in this wall texture, brick wall. Now I go into edit mode, 
and now I my UVs UV map is something like this right now let's go to shading shift a texture image uh, you can just open that image because it's already inside of blender you can open it and now let's look at this uh, material preview this is how the how the brick wall is looking right uh, projecting on top of this uh, we can change it by changing our UV as you can see so this is the basics of UV unwrapping and how to project textures by UVs now let's get back to our storage uh, box or wooden storage now that we have learned the basics of UV unwrapping we can unwrap this whole uh, wooden chest so let's select this wooden part and go into local view by pressing slash on our keyboard uh, all of them, uh, all of the different parts is one object. We can separate these objects or we can just keep it like that. So let's unwrap it. Uh, actually, we don't have to unwrap everything. We can unwrap uh, these three. So let's select these faces, these two, and this one, and these maybe, right? And this one. We can select, uh, we can unwrap all of them and uh, we can just use them to make the other parts of the chest. So Control L and Shift H to, uh, to hide everything else and let's select, uh, let's unwrap these. Now how do we unwrap? It's very simple. Select this one uh, and these, I think, U, Mark Seam, Control L. Let's un try to unwrap it. Oh, sorry, not Mark Sims. You unwrap. Let's see how it looks. Uh, UV editing. I think this is fine. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's Mark Sim in others. I think that's fine. Now let's uh, recreate the other parts like Alt H. We can just delete these three Control L, X, faces, and we can select these three Control L and Shift DX R180 GY, or no X. So now I think everything is unwrapped nicely and you can go to UV editing, select everything and it's unwrapped. Now we can go out of local view by pressing slash again. Now we can unwrap these things. Uh, so we can do something, I don't know, we can just, so we will delete these, L, 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 X, vertices, we will use these to kind of make those and also these ones too we will delete these four x vertices we are going to use only these I will unwrap these four parts onto their own UV map control L and shift uh, shift H to hide everything else So it's X faces. We, we will delete those faces. We don't need them. Now let's select everything. You 
unwrap. They're using a good texture space, I think. Or even we can unwrap only one and put chain the other. So, so select this one and this one and let's unwrap them. Shift H, unwrap them. This is even a uh, lower topology. So how do I unwrap that? It's not very difficult, I think. Let's select something like this. U, mark scene. Let's delete this face, X, faces. Now we can just select this one, Shift D, put it here. When I duplicated the screws, the smaller screws, I didn't uh, Shift D, but I did Alt D. Uh, I duplicated with uh, by Alt D, which means now I have unwrapped only one. I unwrapped all of them. The UVs are just copied to all of these smaller screws. I don't have to unwrap them separately. So in the next video, we can start painting.